How much is this one? Oh my gosh, look at the elephant. Elephant teapot. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> I need that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's like a it's a whole thing of Zuzu pets. Ooh, so many of you have been asking for an update on the aquarium. What do you say? Here you go. You're like Mikey Bags of Money. You don't mind eating on camera. <laughs> It is another blustery morning here in Las Vegas, which we never know how that's gonna affect those doing yard sales, but we're up and out early to go see what we can find because I have a list of five different community sales. Right around the corner was another community doing uh, community sales and I have found my first sale to stop in at. So let's get shop done. Holy fish, we just picked up a fish the other day. This one's kind of cool. How much is your fish? Two dollars. Okay, we will get that. Oh, I see another pretty fish. How much is this one? One dollar? Okay. Yeah, we'll get him too. He's pretty. a cool piece of crystal. Unfortunate, it looks like it's been glued back together in the center. Oops. Really pretty bowl. That is a Scherzenhammer, Bavaria, Germany. Their prices are good. We'll put that in the pile too. That's a really pretty piece. Hmm. This is like a little hand painted piece. I don't think I'm going to get that one. I might come back for that crystal piece. Oh my gosh, look at the elephant, elephant teapot. Who makes you? Tamman, Tamman Stein. Uh, what's the year on that? Oh gosh, I can never I don't know what that is. I'll have to figure it out later. I'm gonna put him in the pile too. Yesterday we started taking out things and started pouring, we gave up. No, we yeah, we Oh my gosh, yeah, look at these pickles. About the garage, we can have one all They're erasers. Pickle erasers. Yeah. How you guys doing? Good. There's a lot of people today. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people in the garage. That's you know. EAPG. Yeah. Oh, look at all the aloe vera. Oh, Are these candles? Oh, they're candles. Oh my goodness, look at all the fake fruit candles and the corn. Oh my goodness, those are cool. I love them. Oh, she just pointed me to all the antique stuff. Oh, look at him. Made in Italy. Yeah, I like him. Those are interesting. Almost like a little atomic shape. Single little, that one's been glued though. We're not going to get that. What does that one say? Albuff and Kaiser Bavaria? Alka, Alka, Alka Bunst or Alka Hunst? Sure, a box would be great. Yeah, then I can just put everything in a box. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the elephant. It was $6.
Schumann, Germany. That's a nice little set. I do. I like that set. I'm gonna get that. And this is just a lid that doesn't really go with that. This is Coloxa, Coloxa. It's kind of pretty. Okay. That one. Keep calm and drink tea. These are mud pie, which is kind of a boutique brand. But, oh, look, this matches. Yeah, this matches here. Right. We're at 19 so far. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Ever feel like you've had too much wine? Me neither. <laughs> oh, I remember these, the little... Zuzu pets. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's like a it's a whole thing of Zuzu pets in all their little house. Rachel, Rachel would love these. Is this whole box the Zuzu pet stuff? Yeah. What do you want for the whole box? Oh, I've got it because she has the other yeah, my grand. Yeah, this 20 for the whole yeah. box? I'll give you 20 for the whole box. Yes, I will. I think some of those actually still sell fairly well. Tools, dye stuff. Some boxes out here, and free boxes. We always have to look in the free boxes. I see koalas in the free box. Oh, he's a, a decanter that's missing. Missing his top? No, his top's right there. Oh, I think we'll get him. That's a sign that Rachel could paint something on there. made in Holland. It is dented though. Isn't that also? Paul Revere Reproduction Colonial Pewter by Boardman. And that is a Gorham silver plate bowl. Sure, why not? Not broken. A little made in Japan bottle. That one's a newer. And you know how I love my battery operated candles. So we will help them clear up their their free stuff. I don't need any clothes though. Oh, I got here. Genuine suede. Nice little. Those are cute. Too small though. Def Leopard. Slippers. How much are the slippers? All right, we're going to get the Def Leppard slippers. Tread say, bonefish. Ooh, jewelry. Okay, we're going to have to go through and get some jewelry too, I think. Because the prices are going to be right. Twitter AirPods case. Yeah, they try to keep sending people to therapy. I've been to therapy.
I spent $154 at that last yard sale. So I think <laughs> since I had to run to an ATM, we're calling it a day on that one. Here is a little bonus footage of all the jewelry since I couldn't piecemeal all the jewelry that I purchased into the video. It would have just been boring and lasted forever. So for those interested in the jewelry, I'm tagging it on the end here. Now I don't know values because I just know that it was at a price that I could pay and make a profit in my upcoming live sale. That is where I sell jewelry. I start everything at a dollar and we let it go where it goes because my audience knows the jewelry better than me. So I just have fun with it. I find stuff that just kind of appeals to me and then I sell it in my live sale. So here's what I picked up at that yard sale that's going to be in the next jewelry live sale, which happens the last Friday of every month. All right, here you go. I forgot to show that I got these fantastic vintage purses as well. Uh, this one was just $5 and it's a tapestry purse. It is made in Hong Kong. Uh, it's got a little tag on the inside there. So love that one. And then she had two more that were $10 each. Let me show you those. These will not be in the jewelry sale. These will be in my regular live sale where I do hard goods and a mixture of things. But this is a very intricately beaded purse. You can see lots of bling. Uh, it is vintage. So that one's going to be coming up. And I think this one's my favorite. Uh, also, another beaded purse. Like, look at all this little micro beading on this and the little design. Uh, it's got this fancy, <clears throat> fancy little clasp here that kind of comes up and opens up. And it also is marked Hong Kong on the inside. Um, it's San San. San San made in Hong Kong. So super excited about that one. I also gave her $10 on that one. Uh, and then the jewelry. Stand by. Her prices were so good on the jewelry. I don't even know what I paid. I just, just like don't even know what I paid. We just started adding to my total. Uh, but we got a little articulated owl pendant. See, articulated means all those little feathers are jointed and move. I got a little set of cufflinks. I haven't looked this stuff over for any marks or anything. Um, I show everything really close up when I do my sales, but oops, where's my camera? I'm not used to working on this camera. So look at these cufflinks. Look how cool those are. Very cool. Um, I got this whole set of Holland, it just says Holland, probably Delft, but it's not marked Delft. So there's a pin. There are screw back earrings that match. And there is a, oops, where are you camera? And there is a matching pendant. So the whole set of, and this one is marked Holland on the back. So that's how I know it's Holland. So got that. We got some really, really nice pins. Um, oops. Appears I got one that is missing its pin. Oopsie. Oh well, I didn't notice that when I got it. Um, we've got this one here with the little faux pearls. Is that one signed? don't see a signature on that. We've got this oops, sticking together, sticking together. We've got this little um, tassels with the little moving tassely things. <laughs> this is why I don't sell jewelry on eBay or other sites because I just don't know the terminology. Mm, also an unmarked piece. Then I got two of these little guys. Oh wait, nope, that's not the one. Oh, wait, that's another matching set. Hold on. All right, this thing 
I don't even know what this is made of, but I suspect that the findings are silver. And I think she charged me a dollar for this one. Look how spectacular that is. I'm pretty sure that is silver. That is such a cool piece. I'm trying to find all these pieces that kind of go together too. Here is, um, this is an older piece, like an Aurora Borealis type rhinestone. You can see all of the sparkle there. I know it's older by the way it's constructed on the back. I can see that. Don't know much more, but I know that's a good pin. These are the ones that match. Somewhere in here I have a, a set of earrings too. Um, these are little horseshoes with the little rhinestones. They're just little pins. Okay. Where's this other matching set? Is this you? No? No, that's not you. Maybe I already showed the pin. There's a pin that goes with these earrings here. Pretty sure. Uh, and then there's another vintage pin. Looks like a little wire. Looks very mid-century, if you ask me. But that's about all I can tell you about it. And then she baggied these all up. This is fun. I got some cool stuff. All right, we got rhinestones. This is a super old piece, as you can tell again by the construction on the back. We've got another little vintage piece in the shape of a horseshoe with little seed pearls. We've got a little, um, I guess like an Easter lily. Is that what that would be? Pin. We've got grapes grapes made with pearls. Gotta love that. Grapes. Um, oh, this one's signed too. I can't see who it's signed by, but it is, oh, it's a Trafari. Trafari. Um, grapes were like a sign of like prosperity or something. Is that why grapes are so popular? I think thinking of this, that my memory serves me well. Uh, this is just a cool little, it's got a fan and little like masquerade or opera glasses maybe. I don't know. Just a cool little piece. Um, this is also looks like 50s with the white stones. I think it goes this way. So sparkly beads and white stones. I see an elephant in here. We've got elephant pin not signed we've got a little enameled kitty cat pin not signed wait I lied is he signed he's signed but I can't read it we'll have to go home with a magnifying glass on some of these this one's also signed this one is a Jerry and it is a little swordfish or marlin, if you will. And we've got another, like a 1950s piece here with the black rhinestones. And then there's a leaping gazelle who is not signed. Not signed. And dragonfly little bejeweled dragonfly. Are you signed? Not signed. It's okay. It's just cool just the way he is. All right. Let me baggy these back up real quick. Again, these will all be coming up in my next jewelry live sale, along with many other things, of course. There will be more than just this, but I'll put these right to that sale. Um, this is a little, I didn't even take it out of the bag. It's like a, a pendant that's a little box. Um, very, just very interesting and her prices were so good. It's got a special little, little latch on there. It opens up. Ooh, it's got, it's got dice inside. Oh my gosh. It's got little miniature dice inside. 
How fun is that? Okay, now I'm even more excited about that piece. Here, I'll put you back in your baggie. Just in case you come open. I don't want your dice to fall out. Um, we've got another owl. We've got a rosary, a really pretty beaded rosary. There, I'll take that one out like that. So I haven't had rosaries for a while. Um, this bracelet caught my eye. It's, it's shell and it's kind of mosaic in there. And it's got like this pin clasp, like so, which I thought could signify either quality or age. You guys can tell me which, um, but I just thought that was really interesting. So I got that. I love these beads, love them. I can't wear them because they're a little too heavy for my neck and all its issues, but look at the colors on these beads. They are fantastical. Love them. You know you guys are gonna love them too. Uh, this thing is just kind of creepy and weird, but beautiful all at the same time. Uh, so I picked up this cross pendant. It's not signed. I think it's just brass on the back. And I think that's it. And some belt buckles. I got four of these cowgirl up belt buckles. How cool are those? Horses. You can never ever go wrong with horses. That's it. I think that's my little jewelry stash because you saw everything else that I got at that sale was in the recap already. Uh, and some of that goes to my live sales and some of it goes to eBay and some of it I sell straight through the video. So don't wait for something to appear in my eBay store or in my live sale because somebody might have already claimed it. So if you see something you want, the best thing to do send me an email and just go up to the description or go down to the description. I think it's down. Yeah, it's under the video. <laughs> uh, go to the description where I tell you exactly the information I need in order for you to make a purchase straight through the video. And I'm happy to do that. Saves you a little money too because now I'm not going through all the work to do the listing so I can sell it for a little bit less than if I list it on eBay. Just saying. All right, guys, now go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you at the live sale. I hope Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific time. So many of you have been asking for an update on the aquarium. We went through a really ugly stage, which is pretty a, a normal thing when establishing a saltwater tank. So I haven't done a bunch of filming. We also uh, had lost two of our fish. We lost Gobi Wan and we lost Foxy. So it's been a couple weeks and we just brought home little Foxy Jr. yesterday. So we have now replaced our little fox face with this little guy and he's doing great. You can see he's already eaten stuff off of the rocks. So we're very, very happy with him. We haven't replaced the goby yet, mainly because the fish store has not gotten that particular type of fish back in. Uh, but everything's doing really good. One of my favorites is this little, it's called an anemone crab, and he lives on the anemone, and they have, I guess, just this little symbiotic relationship there. The anemones are super happy. This anemone's super happy, although, I just had to scold him away from this little coral. You can see the little edges of this coral uh, are not happy because he was stinging them because that's what anemones do. They sting. So I had to push him away because those corals are actually glued into the rocks. We've got a little feather duster guy here. We got our cocoa worm. Another little feather duster. It's like growing a garden. All these little creatures, like these little mushroom corals, like this and like this one. Oh yes, and then there's this little coral guy. Um, those are all like little living creatures that we have to keep alive. Now this one's doing really well. It's actually having babies. <laughs> 
so um, that's one of the babies there on that shell. And there's another one you can see right there at the, the bottom right hand corner, that's a baby. And then that above it is another anemone. So those two are gonna be uh, fighting over space soon. These guys are corals. And then um, these are corals and you can see all the little open little fringes. That's, excuse me, Blenny. <laughs> That is how they eat. We have another one up here. And so, yep, it's just like growing a little garden with all of our little fishy community members helping to tend to the garden as well. So that is the, uh, the aquarium update for the day. It's a lovely, lovely spring day. We have Shelly. Shelly is munching on her mushy mush, as we call it. This is gourmet turtle eats. And then we have Bubbles. Oops, I gotta climb a wall, a little bouncy here. We have Bubbles. Bubbles is eating his mushy mush. Oh yeah. Dig in, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's good stuff right there. Oh yeah, this is a uh, this is a family favorite, huh, Bubbles? Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Look at that face. And last, well, last eating. <laughs> there, there is another one who is not out right now, but this is Tiny. There, Tiny is going to town. Tiny is not camera shy. Yum, 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 yum. What do you say? There you go. You're like Mikey Bags of Money. You don't mind eating on camera. <laughs> yeah, did Priscilla come out? Let's see. She's the baby and uh, she tends to not be out of her little cave as much, but look, we've got her, we've got her enticed. It's there for the taking if she wants it. Let's see, I'm gonna climb over another wall here and see if she's by the door. Maybe thinking about coming out. Are you thinking about it? Or are you hunkered down for the night? Nope, she's back there. She's all asleep. Oh wait, she's, she's moving. She's wiggling. She's wiggling and jiggling back there. I think she's gonna come out. I think she's thinking about it. There she is. Priscilla, do you want to come out and get some mushy mush? There's mushy mush. Come and get it. And now everybody's out and eating. Yum, 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 yum. Gotta love tortoise life. So with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.